every year at uh, NAB, Steve and I like to stop by the Audio Technica booth, mostly to gush about how amazing the products are that Aww. we're already using. Aww. <laughs> and Lucky. so I'm here with uh, uh, Gary Boss from Audio Technica. Right now, uh, my favorite road mic is my ATR2100, and you are hearing me now from the System 10 microphone that is a, a digital microphone that broadcasts to Steve's uh, camcorder, and he's got the uh, receiver up there. And as you can hear, the audio is amazing out of this thing. Yeah, it's it's one of those uh, systems that we really like, uh, not only because of the sound quality, because of the ease of use. So um, wireless were always kind of that mystery. You had to look up on the website and put in your zip code and figure out where you're going to be and set your frequencies. Well, well, the world doesn't work like that anymore. We're used to turning on our phones and they work. I don't have to tell it where I am. So this is one of those wireless that literally does all the heavy lifting for you. Yeah, so it auto switches the channel for us. If I'm, if I'm on a frequency that, that isn't, uh, has a lot of interference, it'll auto switch both of us, right? Yeah, and the beauty part is it's silent. You never know what's happening. So when you turn that on, it does all its magic and it scans the environment and sets the frequency at the transmitter and the receiver. And it will actually do that as necessary during uh, during a broadcast. Oh, without you mean, while recording, it'll yes. switch. Yes, without, without ever knowing it or hearing it. It has no audible switch. It's just it just works, and that's what things are supposed to do, right? Yeah. Well, if this works at CES with all the for the interference there, this is pretty amazing. Um, one of the things I really like about you guys is you have high end stuff at thirty five hundred dollar microphone, yep. right? Oh yeah, definitely. But then you also have stuff for our audience. Uh, how much does the System Ten uh, go for nowadays? Uh, system Ten with a full system with a, either a body pack and a lavalier or the handheld that you have uh, is about four hundred and fifty dollars out the door. Okay, I didn't think we paid that much, but we didn't get the full system, I think, so Maybe, yeah. I don't think we got the, uh, the, the pack and such, but uh, anyway, definitely within affordable for uh, road mic kind of work for yep. uh, doing interviews just like this. But you want to show us something specifically for iOS devices, correct? Yeah, so, um, you know, obviously the buzzword out there is content creation. We don't really know what that means because pretty much everything is content. What isn't content? Right, exactly. But we kind of narrow it down to podcasts, streaming, um, YouTube video creation, things of that nature. And we have a really unique uh, microphone. So, uh, obviously, we were very big in wired microphones. And then as the USB trend, uh, we were one of the forefront of that with a USB output microphone, digital output microphone. Like the ATR2100. Exactly. And so what we have too is we've adapted that with the AT2020 USB-I, obviously with the I, you know, uh, not so creative on our model numbers, but it really gets you in the ballpark to it's know. It's just iOS. Exactly. So we have a USB cable, which is traditional, but we also have a lightning connector. So we can go native right into an iPhone or an iPad and record one device into your iPad, you're making uh, podcasts in your hotel room on the road, and a very high quality. Wow, so uh, we're looking at here, this is an audio podcast, but also obviously on video here. So the ATR 2020 USB-I is $199. Looks like a super professional microphone here. Looks really nice, dark black. Yeah, this is actually based on one of the best-selling side address studio microphones in the world called the AT2020. Uh, so it was a matter of putting the digital output on that and then making it iOS compliant. So we've got, uh, what is that? Is that USB uh, B? It's a, it's a, yeah, USB it's B the, on one end. Look at it right there. We got that, and oh, then oh. you get. Oh, micro USB, yeah. okay. And then you get two cables it comes with. Uh, it comes with this, so the micro USB to US standard USB, and then the micro USB to lightning. Ah, so you supply the uh, you supply the cables as well. That's fantastic. Yep, yep, and it shows up just as a native audio device in your in your device. And this is a recording we did in the office of just a quick little uh, little speech. So he's got a speech playing on here in uh, Twisted Wave on an iPad, and uh, I listened to it. Steve listened to it. Sounded absolutely fantastic. The guy doing the recording had a great voice, but it is clean. It's a beautiful uh, recording, and that's one hundred ninety nine dollars, right? Yep. Available kind of everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I haven't ever uh, talked to you about headphones. Let's go walk over to the headphone side. All right, let's do that. All right, what do we have over here? So um, one of the things, Audio Technica is a 50-year manufacturer, so we, we've been around for quite some time. And one of the things we specialize is what they call transducers. So that's anything that takes one form of energy and 
translates it to another. So we started with phono cartridges. You wiggle a needle and it produces electricity. Um, headphones. How those worked? Yep. Headphones do exactly the opposite. You feed them electricity and they wiggle and they produce audio, right? It's moving a magnet in there with a coil. That's correct. And that's what the microphone's doing. So that's kind of our core competency. So uh, we got our start in headphones. We're the largest manufacturer of headphones and seller in, in Japan. So um, obviously we're very big into the headphone uh, market in the U.S. And not only is that on the consumer side of things, but what we have here, which is the professional headphones. So the nice thing about this is these are all monitor headphones. They tend to be tuned a little flatter so you can get a real accurate representation of your audio. And we have price points from $49 all the way up to uh, $349 in our headphones. So we kind of have a price point to suit all budgets. And then as you go up through those headsets, headphones, um, you get different feature sets, detachable cables, maybe a little better isolation, maybe a little bit more the low frequency response, but they're all very geared towards that professional audio user. See, so uh, I'm, I'm not a great audiophile. I care mostly about comfort. Right, so um, all of ours have removable uh, ear pads. Obviously, being a manufacturer of headphones for 50 years, we know a thing or two about fit and finish, so um, we definitely go through a, a lot of iterations to make certain we have very comfortable, because these are made for professional users. They may be mixing either a live show or editing audio or video, and maybe have, have them on for six, eight hours at a time. So The top of my head starts to hurt after a while from that. Well, that that can happen but you know these these were made to have ample cushioning in the top and in fact the newest headphone we have here you feel it yeah. squish it so this is actually memory foam Ooh. ear pads memory foam headband and this is called the ATH M60X this is a little more expensive headphone this is $199 and this is an on-ear design so this is our first on-ear but again they have detachable cables. Let's see you roll over the cable with your uh, office yeah, chair. You can, uh, you can replace that. And it comes with three cables. So it comes with a long cable, a long coiled, and then a short one for personal listening. Oh, I like that. So I got to tell you, the reason I would un unplug that would be to disentangle it. Yeah, that's a biggie. <laughs> or if you need to travel, it's, it's much easier to take the cable off and then you can wrap that up separately. Wrap it separately. Now, you, there's a little wirey thing coming out of here. What, what is that? Um, that's so you don't steal it at the trade show. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, there's some crazy antenna there. <laughs> nope, nope, that's just a security device, although we trust all of our users implicitly. Of course. Some more than others. Yeah, you shouldn't have trusted <laughs> me. So this uh, model you just showed me is the ATH M60X professional monitor on ear headphones. Yeah, that's the newest member of our M series. The thing that's interesting, we have this M50. That is by far and away the best-selling uh, headphone that we've had in our line in our history. It hits a perfect ratio of price point to sound quality to comfort. So that is being used by both consumers and professionals alike. So when we designed this M60 on ear, we actually utilized the same driver as this M50 in there. So. Oh, okay. But if they look smaller, a little lighter? Yeah, they are. Like a lot of people do prefer that on ear design. So we wanted to give those uh, customers an option as well. So this, is, so the uh, M60X is is on ear, and the M50X is over ear. Yeah, and technically, the technical term for that is circumoral. Just so circumoral. You know. I do want right. to be saying everything right. And then the uh, ATH M30X is your $69 model, and that is intraoral, no, entre, yeah, circum, oral Circumoral. Circum yeah, those well. are all what they call over ear, which means that they seal around your ears and they go over your ears. Okay, great. Well, this is uh, this has been fantastic, Gary. I really appreciate it. I will uh, I will come by and gush at you guys every year, especially if I get that ATH M60X for my birthday in a couple of weeks. <laughs> well, just I mean, I'm just saying it could happen, right? Uh, you never know. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, Gary. We'll see you again next year. Thanks for stopping.